Hi everyone for today, we are going to cover our, our first lab that is accessing the Cyberox identity platform. And then we have to add the user to the specific role. In the last uh, video, so we have covered how you can set up your AWS account. If you haven't watched it, you can watch my previous video. So let's get started with the lab number one. In the lab number one, so the first thing is you might have received an email from your administrator. And once you have received an email, so what you can do, you can simply log in. So here you can see I'm able to log in. And then as a subsequent step, we are going to add this particular user to a couple of different roles here. So here I'm gonna go to the roles. First, I'm going to add my user to the CM admin role. I'm gonna click on members. So here I'm going to add my user into the CM admin, it's done. Apart from that, we have to add this user to the DP admin. So done. And then this user uh, need to be added in the privileged cloud administrator group as well. And then for the SC admin as well, we have to add this user. So apart from that, so because uh, I'm, I will be using this particular user uh, for the auditor role as well. Ideally in the production environment, you should have a different set of auditors here. I'm going to add my user so my user has been added. So our user has been added. So let me go back to my documentation. So here you can see we have added user to the CM admin, privileged cloud administrator, SC admin, DP admin, and global auditor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reload my rights. So we're gonna see whether as a user, I can see all the different tiles or not. So I can see now, I can see the privilege cloud tile. I can see the dynamic privilege access, cloud entitlement manager, secure cloud access and audit. Uh, so we will be primarily using all these uh, five different services for our subsequent labs. So we are done until this part. So we have already added ourselves into different roles. So that's pretty much what you guys have to do from a lab one perspective. In my, in my next video, we are going to look into the lab number two. So thanks a lot everyone for watching this video.